Alright, that's a little bit better, huh? Yo, what is good YouTube? Peyton here, and today we are taking a little bit to talk about my experience on Project Fi. Uh, before I start the video, if you are already interested in joining Project Fi, please go ahead and use the first link in the description below, and you get $20 off your first bill, and I also get $20 off, so it's a win-win. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So I've been on Project Fi for about a year and a half now. Uh, I joined in June of 2016. And overall, it has been a pretty good experience. There have been a couple road bumps in the way, but I will go ahead and talk about that. So, pros and cons of being part of Project Fi. Um, there are definitely more pros, in my opinion, than cons, so let's start with the cons first. My biggest issue that I was having is the cellular network changing. So, with Google's Project Fi, the idea is that you get the best of three different cellular providers. So, you get T-Mobile, Sprint and US Cellular. And essentially what it does is it detects what the best signal is out of those three towers and gives it to you. And earlier on I had some issues where it, I mean, it gave, just gave me really bad service and it wouldn't switch. So I had to use a different app called Fi Switcher or Fi Switch um, so I could manually, ch manually change that. But recently it's been okay. So it I think they fixed it. All right, so the next con would have to be device limitations. So right now I have a uh, Google Pixel 2 here, and that works completely fine on Project Fi's network, except they have a very limited uh, range of devices that you can use. Um, pretty much all Google phones. I will, I'll just put a list on the screen um, of what's available right now, but of course that's bound to change over time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a con. Personally, I really like Android and I really like Google, so I'm totally fine with having a Pixel, but other people like you know, iOS a lot better, and that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a problem, because you can't be on Project Fi. All right, so the next one is a con and possibly a pro. It depends how you look at it, and that is the price. So this is very situational as of if Project Fi is a good deal for you. So what I pay right now is usually about $30 a month. And that is $20 for unlimited talk and text and $10 per gigabyte after that. And with Project Fi, what you can do is it's a pay as you go plan, essentially, um, if you don't use all of your gigabytes. So if I don't use all or my full gigabyte for the month, then that credit will transfer, transfer over to the next month. Um, so that's really nice. But it, so it depends what your situation is like I said if that's a good deal for you um, right now I'd be better off going to Verizon and being with my family plan because we have over four people and it is forty dollars per month for unlimited talk unlimited text and unlimited data but if you don't have a family plan for Verizon I think it's seventy five dollars per month let me get the numbers here Yeah, so if you don't have a family plan for Verizon or AT&T, AT &T, um, it's $75 a month for Verizon and $60 per month for AT&T. So again, if you're single or if you're on like, you're not on a family plan with more than four people, then Project Fi is definitely the way to go in my opinion. Um, of course, other companies have similar pricing, except they don't have that pay as you go, which is really nice. Next for Project Fi would be Wi-Fi calling. So if you don't have coverage from those three networks that you get to choose from, you can actually call over Wi-Fi um, so you don't even need some sort of cell signal, cellular signal. Um, so that's really nice. Next pro would be coverage. So like I said, you get the best of Sprint, US Cellular, and T-Mobile. Um, so I'll get, go ahead and put some graphics on the screen here to see what this, the coverage maps are with Project 5 versus um, some of the other top providers. Um, so yeah, overall it's been really good. Um, I actually went to Toronto earlier this year for a trip, a hackathon trip um, to the University of Waterloo, and I spent my day downtown Toronto, and I had pretty decent coverage, and even when I didn't, I could just use Wi-Fi um, for calling. So I've really had a great experience with that. 
All right, so this is probably my favorite part of Project Phi, and that has been the support. Um, Project Phi support has been known to be extremely good. Like, they're really quick, really friendly, and it's incredibly easy to use. Um, especially for, so I had a Nexus 5X before this, and I think it had some like motherboard failure or something like that. Anyways, I contacted Project Phi support, and I, I had a new device in two days. Like, it was just like that, which was really nice. I didn't have to send my phone back right away either. Um, so they sent me the device first, and then I sent my phone back. And it was just really quick. Um, and also, like, if you message them on social media, they'll respond right away too. So, I don't know. It's been really good with support through Project Fi, and I've heard that from a lot of other users as well. Um, so, like I said, I have a Pixel 2, and I just got this whenever it came out. I pre-ordered it. And right now, I don't even have a SIM card in this. So they have something called an eSIM, and that's just for new phones, um, but it's really nice. So an eSIM, essentially there's a SIM card built into this, and you don't need to have a physical SIM card that you take out. So yeah, it's, it's nice to not have to track that little thing when you're switching phones over and whatnot. Not a huge deal, but still kind of cool. So that brings us to the final question. Would I recommend Project Fi to you? And for me, the answer is yes. So, like I said, Verizon is $40 per month for unlimited data. Right now, I am paying $30 per month for one gigabyte of data. But I rarely use that much. So, unlimited data is nice, but it, it, it can be sort of uh, unnecessary. Don't, don't hurt me. Um, it's nice to, to have that ease of mind that you have unlimited data and you don't have to worry about it, but you don't usually need it. Again, very situational, and if you need it, go with Verizon, go with AT&T, one of those other unlimited data providers. But if you don't, Project Fi is a great option. And the main reason why I say that, again, is the support that I've received from them. It seems like they really do care about their customers and they've been really, really snappy in responding and overall it's been a really good experience. So I hope that helps you guys decide which way you're going to go as far as a cellular provider. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are going to use Project Fi, please use that link down below. First link in the description and you will get $20 off of your first Project Fi bill and I also get $20 off. So it's a win-win situation and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this is my first video of the channel so if you enjoyed please let me know. Please hit that subscribe button and I plan to make more tech videos soon. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.